Hello, friends. So great to be with you this moment and to invite us into a topic this Sunday called the technology of magic. Now, we're not talking about magic that's, uh, you know, ma magicians do in our world that are offering magic tricks, but we're talking about the magic that appears to be magic because it is an experience of alignment with a universal consciousness. And when we do that, that our life appears to be magic. Things happen and move forward for us. And um, experiences are that, oh my gosh, it's as if magic happened, but it's actually alignment with our highest self, with the divine awareness of the universe. And there's actually a technology that um, is available and a way for us to access that inner awareness and that divine flow of the universe that appears as if it's magic in our lives. And we're gonna talk about that this Sunday. I'm excited to be with all of you. And I have been working with a book I wanna acknowledge because it is profound and where this material comes from, it's actually a section of her book called The Technology of Magic. And the book is by Martha Beck and it's called Finding Your Way in a Wild New World. And it absolutely works with a universal consciousness and a way that is in alignment with all of creation and us to experience and understand our interconnectedness. And those of us that she defines as the wayfinders, those who carry have carried throughout uh, the universe, throughout cultures and cross cultures, across cultures are the wayfinders, those who have been often described as shaman or spiritual leaders, or are those who are have offered awakened consciousness um, through many, many different cultures, medicine men and women. And all of us are in this time of awakening to our true spiritual uh, light and truth and ability to live from a higher order of being. And there are technologies or understandings of how that universal consciousness works to bring forth the greater good in our lives, to bring forth the greater experience of being in sync with the flow of a divine consciousness that will absolutely transform our experience of life, the magnificence and the wonder and the beauty of what is available to us moment by moment by moment. I wish for you to have that experience of, of not trying to create. We've been taught a lot about manifesting and even creating. We, we focus our mind on what we want and we're taught, you know, you can bring your focus in and, and you can actually manifest something that you desire. But this is not just um, about a level of manifestation where we apply our will onto the environment or the experience of life. This is about a technology that unifies us with the greater awareness, with the infinite side of nature, to the place where a loving experience of going deep within our own being into the infinite awareness. And from that, it will guide and bring forth that which is for the highest order of good for all the interconnection we have when we move into that place of what she calls wordlessness, what, what might, we might say in that deep inner silence, in that space where we experience and, and understand and connect with the wisdom of the divine consciousness. And from there, move into our interconnectedness with all of life, what she would call oneness. She talks about wordlessness and oneness. And then we move from there, we are able to access this wisdom of the ages, this divine impulse of what is wishing to come through and inform us to create a different experience of life. One where we're not reacting to life out here, but we're in harmony with the natural flow. I wish you to join us this Sunday at 10.30 a.m., or at least I invite you. Whether you do or you don't is your choice, always. We want you to be in choice and harmony with yourself and your own inner guidance. That's the greatest gift we can give to one another by listening deep within. And 
If you feel called to learn more about the technology of, of magic or the awareness that would bring us forth to a higher order of flow in our lives, and it appears as if magic happens for us, that creative impulse in unity, we might speak to it as the power of imagination being put into a harmonizing principle of a life, impulsing life, of spirit impulsing the highest good. And as we open to this technology, we are going to find that we create from a different awareness and a different place that really does bring the greatest good for one and all together. And so I uh, invite you, if you feel called, to learn more is to come join us on Sunday on our live stream on YouTube. Uh, right now it's on Reverend Kira Bear. We're working on getting it onto Unity Bay Area Houston, uh, but it may not be live then, but we will pay, post it there. We are, and we're working on getting it live there as well as on Reverend Kira Bear, K-Y-R-A, B-A-E-H-R, my personal Facebook live stream and my personal YouTube channel. It will be on both of those live streaming our Sunday celebration service. You know, we really do weave a wonderful experience of spirit when you access the meditation and the music and the message together. We are weaving a wonderful union and communion with spirit and with one another. And our hope is that you'll come and be a part of that tapestry of expansion and awareness and help create the magic and wonder of that interconnected whole as it expresses its delight in this world. Um, join us this Sunday, it's at 10.30 a.m. and I'm so excited to share this message and the many messages that are, are um, fulfilling itself in its highest ways. And in this time, we need that encouragement and that understanding of how to participate at another level of conscious awareness, of conscious communion and expression. And I am grateful, grateful to be with each of you in whatever way you're checking in and touching in and to know that we are holding you in the highest as we share these times online rather than in person. And yet we know that we cannot be disconnected. We are always interconnected with one another. God bless you friends, love you, have a fabulous week. Hope to see you with us on Sunday.